This is um, a question about iteration and question A is a little bit harder maybe than the exam will go where it asks you to come up with your own iteration formula. So in order to do this it says that fx equals zero uh, for this formula. So the first step is just to get it equal to zero. Now the question's given you a hint because it says that it involves a cube root. So we know that we're going to have x cubed equals something and um, and then we're going to cube root both sides. So I'm going to just put my lines down. And we're going to add x and add 5 both sides. And we're just going to cube root both sides. So our iteration formula is going to be the cube root of x plus 5. Now, with the iteration formula, it's a beautifully simple idea that this formula will, as long as we just keep plowing in what we've found for the answer before, it will get us closer and closer to the real root. Now, sometimes the roots are infinite. Uh, so we could be sitting there all day and it will get a closer and closer and closer answer. This is why the question will say, oh, three decimal places or four decimal places. So that will tell us when to stop. So it always will give you a first one, okay, the x0, the first one to try. And all you're going to be doing is putting that one into this formula here. Okay, so let's try it. So cube root of... 1 plus 5 and that gets me 1.81712 blah 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 okay now I need to keep that answer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press uh, the cube root button then I'm going to click inside the root I'm going to click answer plus 5 and the calculator will remember the answer to the one we had before. Now, if you try and round them, you will get very, very different answers. Um, and it might take you a little bit longer or you might make a mistake. So you let the calculator do all the remembering for you. Then I press equals and I get 1.89612, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to do the same again. So I'm going to do the cube root button answer plus five and we've got 1.9034 blah 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 cube root button answer plus five and we've got 1.9040 blah 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 now we're looking for three decimal places so the numbers we're looking for being the same is these ones here now we've almost got them the same but we're not quite there so we need to do another one so cube root answer plus five and we've got 1.9041 blah 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 now even if you were to carry on going the first digits the digits i've circled with the well, i've put a red square around are going to remain the same. So as soon as you get two that are the same to three decimal places, that is your answer. So my answer is going to be 1.904. Now, obviously we haven't got it perfect, but if you carry on the iteration, um, you won't ever get anything different to 1.904. The only numbers that will change are beyond that. So that's why we can confidently stop now and say, yes, that's our answer.